All right, let's just, uh, <laughs> it'll be better if I just create a video because Twitter is gonna eat all the resolution. Anyways, so I'm just gonna add a cylinder here, right? I'm gonna from view, I'm gonna select this one right here. Vertices, gonna delete the faces, okay? Select that, T, and once you go into edit mode is that you can only see this right here, right? So the way it works is that it's gonna use a pivot point. So I'm gonna put the pivot point right there, right? And I'm going to select the spin, and then I'm going to go with the N, and I'm going to go to, no, there you go, right there. And I'm going to ask, I tell him, all right, you got to rotate in the Y axis, okay? And then just going to click here. That's it. But you see that it's actually using right this point right here. So I'm just going to change the pivot point. There you go. And it's going to do that. See that? Super easy to use. You can select uh, how many uh, subdivisions you want. In this case, I'll be like, all right, I want 10. And it's going to go with only 10 subdivisions right there. And since you press control, it's going to, um, you know, uh, kind of stick to the grid. There you go. Something like this. I mean, you don't have to delete the face. I just delete the face because, you know, and go here, I'll do it again. There you go. And once you have it activated, you can do this. Basically, let me just uh, do it from here. There you go. Do the same thing. See that? There you go. You can just keep doing this. There you go. Do the same. And basically from here. And do this. And there you go. And there you go. I don't know, I'm just doing some weird stuff here, but yeah, this is basically how you do it. You had to go into edit mode to activate it right there. Once you select it, just find the activate tool here. And that's, I have a lot of atoms that I need to, you know, organize. That's why it's right there. So weird. Anyways, that's how it works. Super easy to use, man. Then you had to get out of there and uh, yeah, you can uh, use it. Yeah. The, the mesh or whatever so yep edit mode spin tool right there spin and once you select one uh, it's going to use a pivot point remember pivot point right there and it's going to keep it straight in there like that there you go all right hope you like it bye